Okay, uh, let's look at the homework 3.2, 3.3, number 20, All right? So we need to use the uh, graphing calculator to uh, answer this question. All right, so let's do that. All right, first, uh, there are two things going. Uh, first is uh, ordinary annuity. It uh, consists consist of quarterly payment, all right? So it's quarterly means that uh, we have uh, M equals four, right? Then also it's a payment. The uh, payment is right, $483.21. So it's a 483.21, right? Then, uh, so an interest rate is 3% compounded uh, quarterly. So R is 3%, which is 0 0.03, right? Which gives you, we can find I. I is just um, R, which is 0 0.03 divided by M4, right? So this is going to be 0 0.0075. All right, so we have that. And uh, let's see, quarterly bin, da, da, da. So the other one is a simple interest, all right? Simple interest, and uh, uh, principal P is given as uh, 5100, right? So 5100, and interest R is. Uh, 7%, so it's a 0 0.07, right? All right, so let's set up the future value. So future value is going to be, all right, so payment uh, $483.21, right, times, right, 1 plus I, 0 0.0075 raise it to the uh, n power so n is same thing as let's see n is same as m times t so m is 4 since it's quarterly so t so i'm going to put the 4t here so t is in years right then minus 1 all over 0 0.00 Seven five, right? So this is the future value after t years, right? Let's look at the uh, simple interest. So future value a of uh, simple interest is going to be p fifty one hundred times one plus r t. So it's going to be zero point zero seven t, right? So, uh, so this is the future value of uh, simple interest, right? So we want to uh, we want to find the t value so that the future value is bigger than the future value of uh, simple interest, right? So let's do that. So bring out a calculator, right? So hit the y equals, right? I'm gonna type in a future value. So you have uh, 400. $83.21, and right, multiply by, right, put the double parentheses, right, you have 1 plus uh, 0 0.0075, right, raise it to the 4t, 4x power, right, then minus 1, so minus 1, and the close parentheses, and divided by 0 0.0075, right? So hit enter, right? Second one is 5100 and times uh, 1 plus 0 0.0075. 0.07x, right? Then close parenthesis. All right, uh, let's see. 
close parenthesis. All right, then I have to change the window size a little bit. All right, window size is going to be, uh, T is going to be, uh, or X in this case, zero to maybe within a few years, maybe I'll just change it to three, all right? And uh, let's see, um, scales one, uh, all right, X min and X max. So it's going to be, uh, let's see, within a few years, so it's going to be at least 5,100. So I'm going to put uh, 5,100. All right, then uh, with the interest, uh, maybe uh, I'll put uh, 6,000. All right, 6,000. All right, let's see if we can see the picture. So sketch the graph. All right, actually X value is a little too small. So you can see that uh, here. Uh, this is a simple interest going up and this is the uh, future value growing faster. So maybe I'll change the window size a little bit. Uh, so it's gonna be, I'll put uh, maybe five instead of uh, three years. So, uh, and uh, enter that and uh, graph. Right, so this is the future value, and this is the simple interest. Actually, we cannot uh, see because uh, y min is too small, so I'm going to change that. Right, uh, sometimes you need to adjust the window size so that the, we can see the point of intersection. So 6,000 is too small, so I'm going to change it to 7,000. Right, might be too big, but I should that should be okay. So graph that All right so that's the future value graph of the future value so this is a simple interest right initially a simple interest is uh, larger but you can see that the future value is uh, caught up right there All right so uh, as before we just use the calc function and to find an intersection so five All right you just have to push enter, 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 right? So it gives you the intersection. So it happens uh, 3.072 years later, right? So um, let's go back and uh, type it in. All right, so round to one decimal place is needed. So it's approximately so, uh, some years, so it's gonna be 3.1 is um, prox 3.1 right then check the answer right that's it i hope that uh, this was clear